this is uh, Jeremias Reyes, um, and he'd like a, a critique on, on his work here. Um, overall, I think you've got a really good, good grasp of forms and um, the other information that you need. Uh, you know, you have a, a decent grasp on, on, you know, getting colors to work well. Um, there's some things that I'm looking at that I would say to kind of adjust. And the reason being is uh, there's just some things that are little things that bug me when I look at it. And it's, and it's, it's cohesive as a whole, but as, as, as in individual parts, there's little things that I, I, I'm finding wrong with it. So the first thing that I find wrong is like, you've got this decent, um, decent layer here, but if you take the teeth, like you've got the teeth looking at you now, what happens is, and I'm just going to draw it over here so you can see, so you've got the, the teeth in there, right? And they're all like perfectly, you know, like it's almost like you did this and that really doesn't ever happen. Um, what happens is you have a tooth, like, so this is the look at the camera tooth, like so. And then what will happen is you'll have another tooth that pops out a little bit and it's just a little bit different. And then as it goes over, you're going to start getting the gum lines here. Um, like this and then you'll you'll see another tooth in there like so and then you'll get that gum line so that gum line is is really what you're looking at and that's the the, the key portion and don't make everything so like zigzag because if you look it's like zigzag zigzag I mean it's almost like perfectly up and down and I get the point what you're going for but breaking out a tooth here and there putting a little gap in there um, would, would re really, I think, add more realism to that particular piece. The next thing is kind of watch your, watch your, um, your rim light here. Um, so when I look at this, you've got a bright white source coming this way, and that's fine. Um, but you've also got a bright blue light coming from this way and so what what's going to happen is you're really you really just trace this outline and so what i would say to do is is uh, the first thing i would do is um take and and with this blue rim light like if you're going to use your lightest color don't make it as as bright as the other colors so I would darken this background a little bit more and that'll pop out some of the color but also also don't make it as bright I mean you're on a um, you're on a, a creature that basically is scales and things like that so it wouldn't be that bright and a lot more of it would be more about how the 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 light goes on versus versus the um, uh, the brightness of it all right so because your spotlight your rim light is never as bright as anything else and so dull down this this blue and mix more of your scale in there to get that better blend going on and I think that's a key portion of how to kind of get that idea going with because what you've got is you've got a solid white light and you can have that blue in there but don't make it so like obvious you see how by just toning that down
by toning that down and adding some more of that color in there and blending it together it still gets your point across it's just now the point is is a little bit more muted it's not so in your face so you know you're not going to get things like this uh, either this here would never happen what would happen is if the the horn is shiny you'll get a standard horn point so the problem is you just you just drew the the rim light in there to kind of solve your issue and instead you want to create kind of that light wrapping around like so all right and and this is a better representation here you're still going to get that form in there too the micro shadows like of the the horn kind of growing you're still going to get that because there's still shadow in there so don't you know don't use the rim light as this all bright expanse instead use it as a accent um, and then that that also changes so this light here is super strong and what would happen is if I'm getting this strength of a light here you're also going to every one of these these pieces that are coming out you're going to get kind of that light coming out um, and so what I would say to do is uh, use that light to follow some of the, the spine work here in the, this and it would blare out so it would do you see how that lightning lighting that out gives it a feel like it's curving around and then you'd have that core dark shadow in there and that core dark shadow would be accented then by your room lights up here and do you see how it, it becomes more subtle about subtleties than you know your blaring lights and depending on okay so if the light is coming from this angle um, I think this would be a lot brighter too I think you'd almost have you know because this part right here is actually receiving a lot of that reflection from that light so you need to really pay attention to that aspect there um, and like I said I think you did a really good job with the texture I think you did a really good job with the the um, you know the form of the character uh, but I think the big issue is the way the light is reflected um, I would say if you're going to do this grab I mean you can grab tons of toys out there that look like this and I would grab a toy or something like that and just set a, a light and a, a couple lights on it in a dark room and you'll see a lot of the information that you're talking about um, I would probably say you know go with like one of the Todd McFarlane toys or, or something like that and and go with that information because in in this aspect too I think you'd also get a little bit of a a highlight around the throat too just from that that reflected light it might not be huge but I think it's just enough to pop it out there um, so I think getting a better lighting situ situation would help out quite a bit alright I hope that helps